first of all, I'm gonna say me talking about this machine. Oh, thanks a lot, cat. Just knocked over my tripod. Me, me talking about this machine is not a flex or not to brag about anything. It is not. It's just showing people out there the machine and telling a review. I just want to get that straight before anybody might think this is a brag. It is not a brag. I have nothing to brag about. You got your life. I got my life. You worry about your life. You live your life. I worry about mine. I live mine. I just want to say, first of all, that I haven't told I haven't told anybody about me getting an X1 car and taking the other machine back. Well, besides my wife, she's the only one to know. I haven't told anybody. I try not to brag about really anything. There's a lot of things I can't brag about, but we're forward. I'm not sure I'm gonna rub anything in anybody's face. Probably, people probably think I'm bullshitting or lying about this and lying about that, but that's you and your fault. This still has two hours and 52 minutes before it's done. This one down here has, hey kitty, 49 <laughs> hours and 50, 48 minutes. So it's gonna be a while. Hey kitty, what's up, meow? You wanna say hi to the camera? What is that on you, suppose? I don't know where it went. Say hi to the camera. Now, on to the video. Peace. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Okay, Lionel Seawood here, SeawoodsCreativeImages.com. I'm gonna do my little review over the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon, okay? I got it with the AMS, but let me, before I review that, let me tell you. Now, I actually originally bought the, uh, the P1S with the AMS, but things were running in my head, things were running in my mind, like for a few hundred dollars more, which is a lot of money, I can go ahead and get the carbon, you know, with with the better screen and already the stainless steel, you know, or, or the hardened gears in the uh, the nozzle. Even though I know you can buy all of that for the P1S, which I did do, but never did install because I returned the unit. Um, I bought the first one in Micro Center, and I bought it before me and my wife went to New York. My wife didn't even know I bought the thing. I think it was the day before we left, I was showing her some uh, things I printed. And she's like, oh, that's nice. You're really getting good at this. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's on a whole different machine. So I had her come upstairs and look at it. I mean, it's not like I was hiding it. She just hardly ever come up here. It's a big ass machine. You can't miss it. I honestly kind of want to see how long it was going to take her to notice. She never noticed. There was no need for me to upgrade to the bamboo from the ender, as you can see down there, moving slowly. But anybody has an ender, you know, it takes a lot of work to get that to work well. Like right now, I got it working good. I got it tuned right. The prints hardly fail, but it's just slow. It's really slow. And this thing prints really fast. This is on a, it's on a standard speed right now. This thing prints really fast with good quality. And this prints slow with somewhat good quality. Like everybody has told you, let me go to tell you the big difference between the P1S and the X1 Carbon. That's about it, the screen. Other than that, to me personally, they both print the exact same. You know, I actually, honestly, starting out, I had a little bit more problems with this and the AMS than I did with the uh, the P1S and that AMS. 
But I mean, some of us probably use error more than likely, but still I had slightly more problems with this. But still, I love it. The touch screen works good. You can do the object skip, even though I know now they have it for the P1S. You can do the object skip from the screen and you can check out all your stats from here versus doing it on a computer, which my computer is literally right next to, to this. So there was really no need to do that. But I did it anyway, because why not? I didn't buy this thing to make money. I bought it because it was a hobby. It was fun. I like printing 3D stuff. I, I think it's cool. I can see where it's going in the future, as long as you know, they don't ban this stuff in every state, which is a little ridiculous, but we'll leave that up. And right now, I'm currently printing uh, some in-ground shields for our sprinkler systems. My wife thinks I should sell it. I kind of want to sell it, but at the same time, I can use it just to, to do the prototypes, stupid stuff that I don't need right now, things around the house. Something that I don't need extreme good quality on. I can just print it on that. Which, that's what I'm kind of debating about doing. But right now, this is glow in the dark material that I'm doing. So if you do think about getting some glow in dark material, PLA, it does work. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Now, I don't, I don't know how long this is going to last, the PLA or the glow in the dark, but right now it works pretty good. This is all PLA, by the way. Matte black, silk blue, silk silver, and neon or luminous. Okay, for those who are confused about debating between the P1S and the X1 Carbon, you don't really, just like everybody else said, you don't really need the X1 Carbon. You really don't. The P1S does everything the X1 Carbon can do if you upgrade the uh, the gears and the nozzle, you can pretty much do everything uh, it can do. I am still new to 3D printing. I've only started doing it last year with the Ender 3. This is my second printer, so that's a hell of an upgrade. So I can't tell you what to do. I don't have that much experience. So you probably shouldn't even listen to me, honestly. I'm just telling you from my experience on the two machines technically three, I guess, that I have. This is the fine machine, but do you really need it? No, unless you really want the touch screen and the already inbuilt nozzle and gears, and maybe a higher print bed, other than that, I mean, you got the same machine, you don't really need it. You can do a lot of cool stuff from the touch screen, yes, but you can also do the same thing from your phone and from the computer. Same exact thing. Sorry for the non-professional look. If it doesn't look too professional and if the sound isn't that good, sorry. I didn't want to, I did some other scenes with, with my actual camera, but I really didn't want to set everything up just to shoot a couple of minutes. I don't do YouTube like that, you know, to be our professional look and this and that for my setup, so. Some people get away with this. This has been my take on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and the P1S, kind of. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, peace.